soon as outbreak, a change in either a trade or economic policy, it can all have dynamic repercussions, not only within that country, but also in other countries as well. Therefore, a more holistic approach is required to ensure food security, one that is broader in scope and takes into consideration all the four dimensions of an expanded concept of food security, namely availability, fiscal access, economic access, and utilization. We have released this recently uh, to recognize the fact that more than ever now, national food security depends on regional and global food security. The supply chains that we so depend on are premised on moving raw food material from areas of surplus to the areas of need, commonly from rural production areas to urban environments. The sub in of our care 2011 reflects this. It is essential to link the rural and urban. It is also for this reason that the organizers of ICAS, named the RSIS, and our partners here, respectively reflect urban and rural constituencies. Uh, we do have very specific aims for ICAS. One of them, of course, is to gain a much better appreciation of a multidisciplinary approach, underlying multidisciplinary approach to address security in the region. Second is to collectively with the wisdom here of all of us, identify, threat and recommend intervention areas in food security interventions, and also the roles of the public sector, the private sector and civil society. The last two of us to examine the context of global food security relative to global security and world food security. This conference brings together all three sectors. It's one of the few conferences where I think we can comfortably say we have strong participation in all three sectors. And an ICAPS program was developed with guidance by the Steering and Program Committee, which comprised representatives from RSIS, CFGA, CropLife Asia, the Asian Development Bank, and ANGOC. Uh, the program is purposely based on four basic dimensions that I mentioned of food security the food availability part, the fiscal access, economic access, and utilization. And the last, which is the driver, the investment driver. Because we need investment to make things come true. Yeah? So, four dimensions plus the added driver of investment. So, the sessions that we see reflect that. Immediately following this, uh, this opening, we will have a high level forum where, in this forum, experts with experience in high level discourse on security will share their thinking from an ASEAN and a global perspective. And also address the link between policies and actions in developed countries and the good situation in developing countries. Then, this afternoon, we start with the plenary session one, which is the scope of food security in Asia. Again, this session aims to set a theoretical yet pragmatic framework for the topic of Asian food security and the need to build alliances through a range of viewpoints uh, from very often conflicting sectors. So, we are quite a challenging session this afternoon that we hear from our four well positioned uh, speakers. Uh, from 5 p.m. today, after session one, we have the marketplace session. It is a session in which participants are invited to interact with authors of poster papers during a two hour period. Okay. Uh, we really feel that given the multitude of issues in security, having a marketplace session is a good forum by which we can share, interact, and exchange ideas. May one, of course, will end with the ICAPS dinner. And I hope many of you can stay for the dinner. So, then tomorrow, we have a total of four concurrent sessions. Uh, somebody asked me this morning, why concurrent sessions? Because they're so interesting, you want to attend all of them. And I said, because of you staying here for five days, it's the only choice we have concurrent sessions. So we start off by having uh, in the morning two concurrent sessions, session two and three. Session two talks about food availability. How do we make more food available? And at the same time, promoting sustainable agriculture production. So this session addresses the supply side of the food security. Raising farm productivity is the core issue. The whether we access new inputs, uh, increasing inputs, varieties, and so on, but in a sustainable manner, as has been uh, stressed by, uh, by Hill that he did. And the game was a slate of very experienced speakers in that session. Session three deals with improving and ensuring access to food. We deal with both fiscal and economic access in this particular session. Okay. I'll let you look at the program in detail uh, for the, the state of the speakers as well. 
Then in the afternoon, the two coherent sessions, one deals with food utilization, aspects of food security. Now this aspect of food security is an often neglected area in many food security discussions. And in this conference, we want to surface that. Uh, increasingly, I think with urban population, urbanizing population, and urban population, and the rise in, in the economic uh, standards of living, we find that utilization becomes a very key issue. There are marginalized populations who live in society. So food security alone is not just supply. Okay? I think this conference really tries to highlight that. Even in modern societies, we do have sectors of society who do not have adequate access to food. Okay? Either in terms of amount or in terms of nutrition part of it. Okay? So this particular session will deal with that. Session five, uh, the, uh, the session on uh, day to afternoon, that talks about appropriate investments to match urban food security needs with areas of surplus. Again, we've got four exciting speakers on very four exciting topics, one of which I was highlighted as the financialization of the food industry, commercialization part of that. Okay? Uh, some, of, some people have actually blamed the financialization of the commodity, uh, the commodity trading system you know, as one of the causes for the food price spiral. So let us hear from the speaker and have a good discussion on that. Uh, we have a second marketplace session on day two tomorrow, between 5 to 7 p.m. So again, I urge you to also participate in the marketplace session. Uh, now, day three, which is Friday, is a catchment session in the morning. Uh, I, my, my plea to, to many of you is to please attend this session, because this conference wants to give enough time for us to be more than just a talk shop. In sessions one, uh, to, to, to five basically, it's almost like one way to go with lots of group of discussion. But in the, in the final technical session, we want to bring everything together and end this conference meaningfully with some suggestions for intervention. Intervention at a different level, policy, technical, and so on. We also try to address the questions. What can food important countries like Singapore okay, do to contribute to the stabilization of food security? In the, in the old country, it comes globally. Okay. So, that's my first plea. You know, uh, stay for the, the, the Friday session. I know some folks may have to go back to the offices and leave on Friday. But we, we do need your participation for that. Uh, this, uh, this conference has been trying to add value to the conference as much as possible. So, we do have four separate sessions, workshops associated with this conference. Okay. In your